A group of Nigerian professionals in the United Kingdom has asked President Muhammad Buhari to sack Mohamed Adamu, the Inspector General of Police. In a statement by Dele Ogun, its president, Fatherland called for a comprehensive citizen-led reform of policing arrangements in the country to give the people proper protection from criminals in or out of uniform. He said the youths have made it clear that they will not tolerate being treated less than citizens by their own government. He condemned the attacks on protesters by, positive, by police operatives and their hired talks intended to deprive citizens of their rights to hold peaceful protests. The Inspector General of Police should have resigned. There is a stream of innocent blood flowing across the land under his feet. The proper thing is for him to quit. If he fails, he should be sacked, they said. It is in, his, in this same spirit of defending their fundamental rights to human dignity that they have joined others across the world as part of the Worldwide Black Lives Matters movement. Ogun said the events of the last week have shown that the relationship of trust and confidence that needs to exist between citizens, communities, and security agencies has completely broken down. This is especially pregnant and troubling against the backdrop of President Muhammad Buhari's Independence Day address in which he called for the citizenry to support the government by providing the necessary continuity level intelligence. He said, the group also expressed concern about reports that the Buhari-led administration has repeatedly been making public announcements of the disbandment of SARS units without any meaningful action taken and only to allow them to resurface each time. Listing some of the victims of SARS, the group said citizens should not become mere statistics but that the government must ensure the delivery of justice for them. All right, guys, be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you agree that the Inspector General of Police should be sacked? Well, that is the right thing to do, you know, if uh, we have a president who truly understands or believes what, or knows what should, he should do or what should be done. But... From the look of things, we do not have a president who is ready to listen to Nigerians, as it were. Take a cue from the uh, service chiefs issue or matter, where Nigerians has been calling for the sacks of the seven chiefs. Service chiefs, I beg your pardon. But to what end? Nothing has been done. He has consistently or re blatantly refused to listen to Nigerians. Even lawmakers have made appeal called for the service chiefs to be sacked but still the president has refused it shows that he doesn't care it shows that he does not in any way uh, listen to the people instead he does what he feels like and it is obvious that the president does not or is not in touch with the reality on ground his advisors are truly not telling him the truth. That is just it. It's time to be corrected. They are not telling him the truth. Because if they are, he will take better decisions or make better decisions and take better actions as it affects uh, you know, people and humans and their activities and the reality on the ground as of today.
but from the look of things he is not and uh, no he's not listening to the people and nobody seems to be telling him the truth it is sad and unfortunate i stand to be corrected but be that as it were do you think that he will sack the uh the police chief if he refuses to sack the service chiefs is it the police chief that he wants to sack well the uk has called for the uh, sack of this man will it be done is the question I stand to be corrected I do not know if it will it remains to be seen but it is what it is guys we just want to hope and believe that the people have heard or the leaders have heard rather and uh, they are ready to deliver or make the necessary sacrifice for actions to be taken concerning the demands of Nigerians on this particular issue because we can no longer continue like this. We demand a nation that is working. We demand a nation that is delivering, that people can believe, that the youth can believe in and can also agree or accept. So until that is provided, we Nigerian youth will not renege in their call for a better country. However, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwolu, has revealed the names of the policemen who harassed protesters at the Area C Command police station in Surulere area of Lagos State. Sanwolu, in a media briefing on Thursday, gave their names as Bagu Michael. Epodom Ito, Namdi Madura, and Akiyemi Benson. According to him, the officers have all been apprehended. Sawo Olu once again warned against any attacks on the protesters in the state. The governor denied knowledge of the incident at Alausa earlier in the day and insisted the BRT boss involvement is false. Well, take a look at what people are saying concerning this. Akim Mustafa says, any evil this Namdi namesake of Kalu must be involved. Imagine. Oh, okay. I think he's just making a, a random statement as it were. Not that it's a concrete thing. The elected governor of one of the country states is a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As a matter of fact, the security of life and property of the country residents should be the primary duty of Nigerian police, irrespective of a unit in the regimented model of other security agents. Okay. People need to calm down, you know, as it were. This is a good omen, if you'd ask me. If these people know that whatever ill they committed, they will be persecuted for it. They will not, they will not continue to create uh, havoc, or they will not continue to carry out uh, all this uh, impunity, since they know that once they are getting hold of, they would uh, be prosecuted. But be that as it were, it is sad and unfortunate that these things are happening. But we hope that. You know things would uh, take a better shape that the re police reform would have a positive effect on all well drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now